Hello, my name is Matthew Painter and this is my Pecha Kucha on the culture of Puerto Rico. This Pecha Kucha will contain a lot of information about the culture, such as its geography, religion, substance patterns, and family ties. The island of Puerto Rico is located in the Caribbean Sea, east of the Dominican Republic. It is actually a part of the United States, but it is not considered a state itself, which means that it is ruled by its own people with its own form of government, and is treated differently by the United States. There are many different biomes on the island of Puerto Rico, teeming with life, such as its high snowy mountain peaks, its lush rainforests, its hot deserts that span for miles, and its famous beaches, each making up this wonderful place. The substance patterns of the Puerto Rican people mostly consists of agriculture, such as growing crops and herding animals, like the farm animals we see every day. This is because there's no room on the island for things like scavenging so they can't hunt, or foraging or nomadic life because there's nowhere for them to go. While the Puerto Rican people can grow an abundance of crops with many different varieties and have many different types of meals, their main diet of everyday life consists of beans, rice, and meat, fruit and vegetables added in every now and then. Another huge way that they can get their food is actually by fishing. Because Puerto Rico is part of the American system, it also uses the same type of economy as us. While they do have their own money, such as pesos, shown below, they actually have the use the American dollar in most of their everyday life. They do have some restrictions, though, with trade commerce. One of the major ways that Puerto Rico gains money is through its tourism. Because of its beautiful landscapes and beaches, it is widely known throughout the world as one of the most beautiful vacation spots in the world. It also contains one of the largest malls ever created. Everyone knows about Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rican politics, there are many more political parties than we have here in the United States. The most popular of these parties are the Popular Democratic Party, Puerto Rican Independence Party, New Progressive Party, Puerto Rican Republican Party, and the Working People's Party of Puerto Rico. Politics in Puerto Rico is not all that much different from what we see here in America. They have a president who is elected by a nationwide vote and he is a member of one of those political parties. The only difference between ours and theirs is because they have many more parties than us, so votes are usually split up and has a more equal chance of being somebody new. You will not see a major difference between a family from Puerto Rico and a family from America in their everyday lives. However, they do have some customs that we in America do not have. For example, when you're going over to a relative or friend's house, you must ask for that person's blessing before stepping foot into their house. Family means everything to the Puerto Rican culture. Their love for each other and their country is truly amazing and their patriotism knows no bounds. It is one of the major reasons why I wanted to study this culture and learn more about it, because I have never seen another people group so dedicated to one another. In a Puerto Rican family, Manners mean everything, especially when taught to the children. They have very specific programs and different ways to teach kids different types of manners. They will always respect their elders and leaders, and you will never see a misbehaved child in front of a family in Puerto Rico. The island of Puerto Rico is teeming with wildlife. Here we can see a beautiful bird, a ginormous insect almost the size of a person's hand, and a very tiny poison dart frog the size of someone's fingertips. All animals on the island of Puerto Rico are treated with respect. On the island of Puerto Rico, there are many different types of plants, all coming in different shapes, sizes, and colors, beautiful in their own way, and sometimes deadly. Some are edible, some are poisonous, some can give medicinal properties. The natives of Puerto Rico know to treat the island and its wildlife with respect. Modern medicine can be found all over the island of Puerto Rico. Thanks to the U.S., 
Many advancements have been made in the last few decades, but it wasn't just them. Puerto Rico has its own University of Medicine and is widely acclaimed throughout the world. This is because of the hardworking nature of the people and the will for them to get better. Before, Before the advancements in modern medicine, medicine that we have today, today however, Puerto, Puerto Rico had less, less than ideal means of trying to heal people. people. Magic and voodoo <laughs> was used in ancient times in order to heal people of the things that they ailed them, and it was not nearly as effective as, as we have today. today. When you think of religion and Puerto Rico together, you probably think of Catholicism. Over half of the population of Puerto Rico practices Catholicism, and many different churches, steeples, and other Catholic artifacts are found all over the island. There are even specific days set aside for all the different saints. While the majority of the population of Puerto Rico still remains Catholic, it is a very progressive nation and has progressed in bounds and strides from what it was many years ago. The island is more of a melting pot of many different types of religion and people that have come together. The art of Puerto Rico is absolutely beautiful and a must see from anyone around the world. Here we can see paintings, some of which take over entire buildings. Another picture shows us the beautifully decorated pottery that was used in ancient Puerto Rico and of course the amazing statues that take mastery to make. The art of music and dance is one of the most important parts of the Puerto Rican culture. You will not meet a Puerto Rican that does not know how to sing, dance, or play an instrument. You will also not meet one that does not love all three at the same time. This is because it's their favorite way to truly express themselves to the world. I've found many different things truly interesting about the culture of Puerto Rico. From the amazing people that are super friendly, to the incredibly good food, to the beautiful art, to the vast wildlife, biomes, and plants that you can find there. It is truly an incredible people group. These are my references for my Pachacucha on the culture of Puerto Rico.